How y'all doing? Good. Cool. And you got a double-digit sacks here um, on the season as a collective group, of course, on senior day. What does that mean to you to, to hit that mark? Yes, uh, I mean, as far as the sacks, I mean, that doesn't really mean much. It just, I just wanted to go out there and play well. You know, obviously my family's watching, everybody's family's watching, so it meant a lot to them. So I wanted to go out there and play well for my mom. Uh, my dad's down. And look, look, my dad is looking down on me right now, so I definitely just want to put on a good performance for him. So it was good. How much did it sink in on the walk down the hill that these are your last two games in the Valley, possibly, if you do decide to leave? Uh, I would, like you said, you know, it's a possibility that might be the case. So, you know, I, I didn't want to take this moment for granted because, you know, obviously I still don't know what I'm going to do as far as after the season. But, you know, to have this opportunity to have my family there and potentially this might be one of the last two home games that I get to play in here, man. It's been a, it was a great experience, you know. Obviously, it just kind of showed the struggle of me throughout my first four years. You know, obviously the first quarter we struggled a little bit, and that's how my first year here was. And I kind of kept progressing, and we just got better with time. So it was a good experience. Clearly, you've been on a lot of great teams since you've been here. How would you rank the way that this team is playing going into the rivalry game versus your past? Going into South Carolina, uh, we, I mean, I feel like we're we're we're, we're hitting our stride right when we need to. You know, obviously, um, you want to be playing well when you're about to go into the state championship. Um, obviously, you know it's going to be a tough, uh, hard-fought game. Obviously, South Carolina, this one is kind of a bit personal. So it's good to be kind of hitting our stride right when this game happens. So it's good. Duke had 127 yards in the first quarter and only 135 in the final three. What was the key for, for kind of shutting them down after that? Just settling in, man. Obviously, that quarterback is really, really good. and The margins for error was really, really small with him, the type of throws that he made and the, the, the rush lanes and things like that. And the running back was good, too, so we knew we had to wrap him up. So just uh, honing in on our details, man, that was the biggest thing, not just going out there and feel like, feeling like we can just beat these guys based on talent, you know, honing in on the details and really focusing on, you know, doing the little things. Big, 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 big kind of How different is this next game compared to the ones you played to this point? Is there anything? What's the spice like for this game? Um, not really much different for us. I know it's it's, it's kind of amplified for everybody else in the state. You know, obviously the state championship. You know. Uh, the fans, they obviously not very fond of each other. <laughs> um, and it's, it's a lot of history between us, you know what I mean? But obviously, we just going to treat it like another game. Um, we know it's, it's kind of personal. You always want to uh, go out against a rival or whatever, your so-called rival um, in, your, your, uh, in your last game of the season. So it's going to be a good game, man. Obviously, they're a very good team. They have a lot of good players. Um, so we just got to go out and play. We got to prepare. We got to have a great week of practice. At what point will it say again that you have four more quarters left in the stadium? Uh, possibly four. More quarters, so, so I mean, I'm just gonna go out there and play my best, man. I'm just trying to try to you know, play like it's my last play here, man. I don't, I don't really think about it too much, you know. Obviously, you take it back and just reflect on, you know, this might possibly could be my last game next week in the valley, um, but you know, I feel like my, my my relationship here is gonna it runs way deeper than just the football, you know what I mean? So I'll be back, and I don't really focus too much on just the, the playing side because I, I my, my relationship with Clemson is much deeper than just football. You said possibly. Does that leave open the possibility you could come back? Oh, yeah, for sure. I haven't made a decision yet. You know, that's, I mean, whatever people assume, you know, you can't really assume because they're not me. You know, last year people thought I was going to leave. Last year people thought I was going to come back. But at the end of the day, it's a, it's a decision that I have to make. And I haven't made that decision yet. So, you know, at the end of the season when we're done, you know, I'm focused on the, the present right now. That's all I can't be focused on. You know, I feel like I owe that to my teammates, to the Clemson family, you know, just to focus on just be present in the moment. So, yeah, I haven't made that decision yet at all. What do you mean to keep them out of the end zone? You had a pretty good Oh, that was huge, man. Obviously, you know, we didn't play well in the first quarter, but the holding the uh, two field goals was big. Um, and to, you know, keep him out of the end zone for the rest of the game, man, that was huge because, you know, we're big on, you know, uh, bending but not breaking. You know, obviously, we knew that's a very good offense. Um, quarterback is really, really good. Running back is good. Um, offensive line is very technically sound. So we knew it was going to be some type of a challenge. And to hold him out of the end zone because they, they put up a lot of points in the team that they played, so that was huge. At what point do you allow the national picture to start creeping in? You guys are already going to the ACC championship game. You're going to be a heavy favorite in the rivalry game. I mean, it's almost, you know, when you get to the playoff, what, what, what is the – when do you allow it to start creeping in, what the overall goal is? Um, 
I don't know about overall goal. I mean, I know our next goal is just to win the state championship. You know? Hey, what's up? But, but you know, um, the biggest thing that I feel like helps us with that is this is the biggest senior class in the history of Clemson. We have more wins than any other team in the ACC as far as the senior class. And we've been through things just like this. So any situation where you can have like a one-game slip-up possibly, you know, in the late half of the season like we did against Pitt a couple years ago or against Syracuse, you know, we, we understand the amplitude, you know. People say things this isn't a big game, but until you lose one, you really find out how big of a game it is. So we, we know that we understand the circumstances, and we just take it one game at a time because we're not really focused on things that we that, that are out of our control.